You recording? Oh! Ah, dang it! Today, I'm gonna install a new fork, and guess what? It's a DVO, and it's green. Let's get into it. These are the tools you'll need. Star nut. Four, four millimeter Allen wrench. Star nut installer tool. Hacksaw, or what I got? Pipe cutter. Crown race removal tool. Crown race installer tool. A file, preferably half round. A file, I think that's it. I'm going to disconnect the uh, brakes. Okay. Okay, sweet. You don't really need to unscrew it all the way, just enough to, well, this one I guess you do. Put that back so I don't lose it. Put this off to the side. Next is I'm going to remove the top cap. Take these spacers. Loosen up the stem. Oh yeah, it was right. This was stupid hard. I got it, it's coming, there we go. And now I'll take this bottom spacer, put it there with the rest of the tools, and then try to get this fork out. Fork is out. All right, now I've never used one of these guys, so I'm assuming you unscrew, open it up. It's gonna go underneath my crown race. So yeah, I'm seeing that lift, okay. It's just taking longer than I thought. I'm gonna fucking sit down for this. Hmm, okay, fork off. Now, I guess we get the crown race, and we're gonna put it, install it on the fork. So what you do is you take the crown race, put it on here. It's not gonna go down all the way. See, I won't go right here, so. Oh, you know what? This came with an Allen wrench. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was about to be super pissed. Yeah, it's on. Uh, forgot another tool. We need a pick so we can score where we're gonna cut. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to add the spacers and stuff. I'm gonna install it as if it was going in. Okay, that's all the way. Put that in there. One spacer. Okay, the stem now. God dang it. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. Take back off. We're gonna have to bring this down. Why are you so hard? Hitting me in the neck. Uh, still more room. Okay. Oh, fuck. So, there we go. What I read is you want like three millimeters below your marking of your of your uh, top spacer or headset because you need that room for adjustment. So I'm just curious, what does the three look like? Right under that 190 mark. So that was one measure. I'm gonna measure again once I get it off. If I can get it off. <laughs> Out of all of this, I think this is gonna be my hardest thing to do. And I'm just gonna bring it to three and see what that looks like. So we have, there's the right there. That's my mark. That's the three millimeters below it. Double check. This is a three millimeter. That's three millimeters below. Okay. I might as well bring the file with me. I'm gonna need that. Should have just bought a hacksaw today. Oh, I'm making progress. Yeah. Making progress. Oh. Just snapped off. This is supposed to be like stupid sharp. So you got a file. Point it down so you don't get any filaments on your fork. Or stanchions. And then just 
Screw it out. Alright. There's that ridge that they were talking about. Yep, that's that. So, what I was told, not personally, just by reading, that one of the things that's bad about using a pipe cutter is you get this weird ridge on the top of your steer tube. It makes like putting a stem and stuff on hard or slipping it through the headset. I just kind of experienced. But that's okay, I just have to find an alternative route. <laughs> okay, star nut. It's a ridge in there, it goes in like that, and then you just hammer it in. So it, ju it does just sit in there. There's no thread on this. And it goes in here and I've I saw a video where somebody was using this and they only did it to where this went flush but if you look like the whole thing can go flush so we'll start baby steps I'll go in that far see how it looks so here we go stalling the star nut I'm gonna take this out and see how it looks so that's super flush okay so yeah I'm just gonna keep going all the way Yeah, that looks, that looks spot on. There, old one. Now I just install it and put it back. There that goes. There's that. Yep, there's that weird ridge that I was also warned about. My fat spacer goes on. And this hard son of a bitch. Which I don't know why this thing's so hard. Yep. Yeah, it's way harder now. Way harder. Ugh, won't go on right away. I mean, I, to I, mean I, I totally see the little ridge that they're talking about. Ah, it hit me myself in the face. I think I'm gonna have to file this more. Okay, let's try this way. Ooh, let's get my spacer on. Oh yeah, way better that way. And then I should have a little bit of space. Perfect. Yeah, all right. No play in the headset, looking good. Let's put this in here. Yeah, you get to sit down. Why is this? Not going in at all. What did I do? No! No! This is for a 160 millimeter rotor, I bet. No! Oh, we have to get online. 160, fuck me. That's my fault. Oh, god damn it. Well, for another day, I guess. So, I didn't read. The fork has a 160 millimeter mount for a rotor. I have 203s and it didn't realize, so I had the wrong adapter. So I had to buy one. Good news is, I got it and it's awesome. I love it. And it's green and my bike looks so weird, but I love it. I think it looks so cool. Just gotta get everything dialed in and it's gonna be fantastic. Get out there and ride safe. Okay.